hello in this video i am going to show you how you can delete item from cart so first of all i am going to run this view cart page and now i will show you what we are going to perform exactly first of all i am going to add item in cart add to cart okay now i am going here shopping cart and you can see here we get here record and i put here delete link so when we are going to click on this delete link we want to delete this item from cart so first of all for the, this delete link what we have to do open this view card page of your project this view card page i show you this in last video so after open this view card page in your this view card page you can see here you write here 5 then please change your seats because we are going to add one more column over here add your seats and same line in last you have to add here new data column id ok so you have to add here id now and you can see here you write over here this line in this line you have to add here one more column i dot to string because in our data table we are going to show the cookies uh, index 0 1 2 whatever okay and now go on this ASPX page in this ASPX page after this product quantity you have to write line this td you have to pass here id delete link and you have to pass here id okay now what happened i am going to show you now now i am going to um, click on here and you can see in the taskbar you can see here id is equal to zero question mark id is, you can see here just check i am when i move mouse you can see here id is equal to zero when i am going to click this you can see here this delete card dot asps is open and pass id is equal to zero but uh, right now uh, we are not creating this page so now i am going to create this page delete chart okay so i am going to add here one page okay i have to stop this user this is very difficult process so please chat properly i will explain you everything delete underscore card dot sph okay in this page we do not require any types of master page and uh, no design okay so here we are going to add using system dot data using system dot data dot sql client <coughs> okay now we need this variable so I am going to declare this variable over here this all variable you need to define here and we need here one array also so please declare this variable over here now you can see we pass here one variable question mark id is equal to zero so id is our variable so I am going to get here that id using request dot query string and this value I store in this id variable ok so simple this line is useful for getting this value from URL now this is most important uh, we already use this in our uh, view card page what we are going to do here we create here one data table and we are going to take all values from card uh, all values from cookies and going to store in this data table we already use this in our last video and here also we pass here id 
and seeds the same thing we use here this is the same thing in view card we use the same thing so copy this view card code up to here copy this and paste over here this is the same code because uh, <coughs> the main thing is uh, we are going to store cookies value inside this data table now this is most important line now from data table we are going to remove item means if pass here 0 0 are known as index of cookies then we are going to we are going to delete record from data table now <coughs> uh, if user pre uh, we have added five items in cart and then user going to delete fourth item then what happen first of all this data table will be generated from cart then we are going to remove fourth record from this data table after that our data table is updated as per user requirement then we are going to delete our cookies and again we are going to create fresh cookie with these remaining records so now i am going to delete these cookies i write line uh, two times because sometime uh, if we are going to write one one time then maybe it will not delete or something happen then i am going to write this line two times so definitely this will delete our cookies then again we are going to create our cookies so i am going to write this again it will move record data row dr in dt dot rows then we are going to take values from data uh, table in from row and we are going to store in this variable then again this is the same logic this is the same logic which will use in uh, description page uh, okay i will show you what i write here mm, one thing i will put like this So you can see properly just you have to pass all variable with comma all variable value with comma and here <coughs> if uh, this loop move first time then we are going to store directly value if this loop are moving second time then we have to pass this separator in cookies uh, this i already perform in uh, product description page now so what happen uh, using this line we removed uh, selected item from data table then again we are going to delete cookies and we are going to create new fresh cookies so after completing this process just we have to move this utart.aspx so i'm going to here utart.aspx so now yeah right now there is no data in this our cart now here i am going to add this record okay i added laptop now i am going to add a desktop computer okay. now i am going to add mouse okay so i added three record and now i am going to check in cart you can see here in card we get here three record now i am going to remove this desktop computer oh it is not deleted why what happened okay uh, we need to remove our cookies one time okay i delete all cookies using control shift delete now i am going to add this item Okay, now here two record now i am going to delete this you can see here our record is deleted now i am going to add one more item so 
shopping cart and now i am going to delete this you can see here so this way our delete code will work yeah you can delete records from uh, cart in next video i am going to show you right now what happened when i am going to delete this add to cart then by default it takes this quantity but actually we have to give here a text box to user user enter a quantity in, inside this text box and when we press add to cart on that time we have to get this text box value so in next video i am going to press here text box and please uh, check my whole video i am going to show you everything regarding the shopping cart okay thank you so much and yes if you are going to delete this record and your record is not deleted then please one time remove all cookies record so press ctrl shift delete so we'll get this type of then clear now and then add items in cookies and then uh, from uh, you are trying to delete here then definitely you will delete this record and if you are getting any problem then please send me email or send me message so i will send you code of this view card page thank you so much for watching my video have a nice day